with coverage you can count on. This is News Channel 8 at 5.30. Alleviating arthritis pain coming up next on News Channel 8 at 5.30. I'll tell you about hip surgery, helping active adults stay active. Topping health news, there's a hip replacement procedure now available for active adults slowed down by arthritis. It is called hip resurfacing, and for people like Tim Mingy, it spells relief. When Tim Mingy takes a step, well, a lot of pain. You are hard pressed yeah. to figure out which hip recently underwent surgery. Day to day activities are no problem. That's because hip resurfacing got rid of Tim's problem in his left hip caused by arthritis. You're welcome. You're welcome. Was it worthwhile? Absolutely. Absolutely. Would you do it again? Yes, I would. It is a hip replacement procedure ideal for younger active patients like 44 year old Tim. Dr. Robert Devaney, an orthopedic surgeon at Danbury Hospital, did the surgery. It's a bone conserving procedure in that we're not uh, removing the existing ball, if you would, of, of the hip as would be done in conventional hip replacement. We're saving that, that ball and what we do is we reshape it and then re recover it. Basically, Dr. Devaney reshapes the ball and socket. You reshape it to accept this metal surface and this metal surface is actually impacted into that area. It is a tight fit so that this metal ball and cuff yes, this, this is uh, a cobalt uh, chrome prosthesis. With a smooth surface allows for a greater range of motion in the hip joint. And for patients like Tim, feels pretty good. Recovery is down to three weeks from three months. They're, they're typically young healthy patients and they tend to recover more quickly. Still, I'm a little bit inflexible in certain ways, but each week uh, there's an improvement. I have trouble crossing my legs, uh, a little bit of stiffness. No doubt Tim, with a black belt in judo, will soon be back in tip-top shape. Dr. Devaney says hip resurfacing is not for men 65 years and older or for women 55 years and older. That is due to the risk of osteoporosis. He says the strength of the bone is essential at the time of surgery. Wow.